Hi, my name's Tom, and I have a little bit of a sparkly light bulb problem. Uh, you see, whenever we have holidays, or when the kids have sleepovers, or when uh, we just have a little small party here at the house, I love to pull out things like this. It's a sparkly light bulb, uh, and it'll go ahead and make all sorts of, you put it into a regular lamp, and it'll make all sorts of neat patterns on the ceiling. Whoa, look at all the groovy colors, man. That's amazing. This particular one does swirls, but I also have uh, an exterior one here as a, as a projector. It's really just a bulb with a stake on the end. It's an exterior one is a northern sky one. This is a kaleidoscope frozen fire one. And I have about three or four others of these things that I'd love to just kind of display them, show them up on the ceiling, do whatever. Uh, so when Tan Baby reached out to me and said, hey, we got something that you might like, I said, okay, sure. This is kind of their version of, of, of that, but it's kind of the same thing as a sparkly light bulb on steroids. This is called the Tan Baby Music Star Light Galaxy Ocean Projector Wave thing. Uh, it has a bunch of different names and a bunch of different functions, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it today, and I'll kind of show you how the whole thing works and all the neat little things uh, included with this one little package. Uh, this is generally a very affordable little product and one of these light bulbs or maybe two of these light bulbs would cost the same as this entire package. So this is actually a, a better deal right off the bat. So let's go ahead and open up the box and I'll kind of show you what we got inside. Okay, we have an instruction manual. That's easy enough. It's a thick instruction manual, but it's not that bad. Uh, it is written in English-ish. Uh, it's written in uh, English, Spanish, Dutch, or German, all of the other languages, but it's it's right there, and you can read most of the functionality. Uh, a couple areas are a little sketchy, but you fiddle around with it, and you'll figure it out. Uh, it has a remote control, and we'll talk about this remote control in detail in a minute. Uh, it has a plug, power adapter with a USB port on it. It has a cord. Uh, that's fine, standard three or four foot and then and this looks kind of cool in the box when we pull it out i actually do like the fact that it has repackable foam because when you're done with this you can put it back in the box nice and square pop pack it in nice and tight and you're ready to go and then here it is Ta -da! this is the tan baby star white projector galaxy thing uh, I want to kind of go through a couple different settings on here kind of how it works but basically what you do is you put this thing on your desktop uh, you have it plugged in, and it plays some really cool lights, a, a light show across your ceiling. Uh, it can play music. So a couple different things it can do. It can play music through a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, you connect your your phone to it via Bluetooth. Uh, you can use a USB drive to connect and play music through it. We'll do that a little later on. Uh, there's all kinds of different patterns and lights you, you can actually uh, play with this. Uh, you can set up an app to kind of change the color of it. It has a little laser projector as well a little starlight laser projector kind of nice all combined though it's basically a music player starlight night light sort of a thing for sleepovers for parties uh as holidays anything where kids or adults just want to hang out and chill this actually is pretty darn cool so let's take a look at some of the things that it can do so here's my blank ceiling, and I'm about to turn it on, and there we go. We have a nice red pattern. It's a really nice pattern. You can add colors and delete colors to kind of add different effects. So this is basically blue right now. You can speed up and slow down the uh, movement of the little waves. This is multiple colors. This is a red and a blue. You can kind of have a purpley color there. Uh, you can kind of change. There's actually some fading patterns that you can set up as well. There's kind of a blue and a green, gives you an aqua. And there's actually kind of a white to lighten it out. It does have a laser on it. It's a laser. Uh, the laser really only has two settings, uh, but they're enough to kind of add to it. You'll see what they look like on the ceiling here. That's a static laser, just sort of a, a star field of lights across the ceiling, which is actually a pretty nice little effect. Uh, but then you can also have it like this where they fade in and out. They don't move, but they do fade in and out, or they stay static. The lasers are green in this case, and they're nice and bright. Um, they're like those Christmas lasers that you sometimes will see uh, on a, directed at holiday houses, but this is interior. And then obviously you can also have the lasers with the LED starlight wave effect. So the LEDs are red, green, blue, and white. Those are the four colors that can kind of mix and match, and the lasers can either be on or can wave on or off. 
Now let's talk about the actual device ports. On the far left is the power port. That's where the power cord plugs in. The next little rotating knob over there is for the brightness of the waves, the LEDs. The third thing over is the USB port for the USB to play music. And the fourth is just the on-off switch. You can have Wi-Fi or regular on and off. This is the third side or the second side of it. It has got a speaker on it. The speaker will play music, obviously. And then here are the audio settings. A long press will go ahead and change the volume up or down, and a short press will actually change the track when you're doing Bluetooth. Now let's talk about the remote. With the remote, you can control all the functions of this. The, with the app, you don't actually control all the functions. So the remote has a button for laser, the LED, and the music. You can turn them on and off. It has a red, green, blue, and white button for changing the colors of the LED. It has volume control and changing tracks. And then down below is a little grid of buttons down there for the speed of your waves, for different fade-out patterns. You have a sleep timer built in. You can even change the brightness of this as well. Uh, it's actually a pretty complete remote. And now let's play some music with a USB key. Bluetooth mode. Isaac mode. control the color of the light with uh, an app, you need to use the Smart Life app. It's a free download from uh, the Google, Android, or uh, iPhone's App Store. And the way it works is you add the device to the app, and then you can change the brightness of it. And here you can see me kind of turning on and off, brightening, and the light itself is actually getting brighter or lighter. You can choose the color as well, the color palette, and then it does its best to approximate that color scheme. Uh, it, it's okay. It's fine. Then you can go ahead and actually even use Alexa or some of your Google assistants to go ahead and also control it. You can turn the light on and off if you have it plugged in and ready to go, but it's got to all go through the app. Um, this is all well and fine, but honestly, the remote gives you more control over the device than the app. And sometimes it's kind of a pain in the neck to bring the app up and go sit and play around with it. So uh, just so you know that the app is not a full feature uh, control of the light itself and you can also do all kind of little lighting schemes and setups and you can edit your own patterns if you want in here so that it'll kind of fade in and out make your own fades that's kind of nice you can do that with the app but you can't do that with the remote so much uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you what, a, what my 11 year old daughter thought of this light for the very first time <laughs> all right. so here's my 11 year old daughter who's going to actually watch how this works for the first time we propped it up on a pillow in her room. Bluetooth mode. And now, <laughs> so we actually have it in the bedroom here. And I can tell she's impressed. She's not saying anything. That thing's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So look, I have a remote here. You can change the colors over here. You can see have four different colored buttons there. Hey. And it does fill up most of the ceiling, okay, and her room is about, uh, I don't know, 13 Ooh. by 20, 13 by 16, something like that. Uh, it was we're kind of off to the side there, but there's the ceiling. She has laser. You can hit the laser button, in, and the laser up up on the upper. Oh, here we go. The laser button, well, they'll fade in and out now. Okay. Oh, it can play music. We're not going to play music right now, happen. but it can play music. Up oh, there you go. There's all lasers. Ooh, cool. That's fine. And then you can adjust. There's a, there's a couple different fade settings on the remote as well. Yeah, see that fade one. Yeah. And then fade two. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, nice. Ooh. Could you see yourself using this to fall asleep or to play with during sleepovers? Oh yeah. 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 Cool. So we've had the Tan Baby Starlight Projector for three or four days now, and we've kind of been playing around with it every night. And here are some of our overall impressions of it and some of the good things and, and what doesn't always work the way it should. Uh, one, it's really kind of pretty. It's cool. It's neat. 
Uh, it's fun to play with. Uh, the girls love it. My daughter actually brought up FaceTime and showed some of her friends. They all want one now, so they were all pretty impressed with it, so so that's good. Uh, it really hits that 11, 12-year-old set pretty well. They like it. Uh, it is very pretty. It's kind of chill. Uh, it does cover the full ceiling. It's got a nice field of view. You put it down, you got a nice good POV. You get the entire ceiling, and then sometimes a little bit of the wall, depending upon the size of your room, obviously, and the height that you have it. Um, that's all well and good. Uh, the, the way to control it best is by far with the remote. The app is a third-party app. It's called, again, the Smart Life, I think. Uh, it's for controlling light bulbs and appliances, all sorts of cool things. That's great. That's wonderful. Uh, but there's just not a whole lot you can do with the app other than change the color uh, and maybe change some of the fades. But honestly, you don't really need that so much. We use the remote almost all the time. The remote does need batteries. Uh, it's two AAA batteries We that were not included. We had to include them, but... I can't imagine this is going to use batteries very, very much. Um, there's one function on the remote that we haven't really talked about. There's a little microphone button in the middle, and that makes the light sync to music or sounds in the room. Now, it doesn't dim in and out. It just turns on and off. So eventually, essentially what you get is a strobe light effect with this thing. Uh, as music plays, the light kind of flashes on and off. We found that a little rough, and I didn't even want to put it on video because I didn't want to drive anybody crazy i didn't want to hurt anybody's eyes um it's okay for parties I, I can see my daughter liking it but i don't think i would actually use it um but everything else in the remote is actually pretty nice you can control the colors again turn things on or off volume everything's right here and the remote by the way it's a visual remote um this is the light or this is the sensor that picks up the infrared remote um but that being said i, I mean i put some cheapy batteries and dollar store batteries in this and I've never had to aim it or turn it or anything. It just kind of picks it up and goes. So so that's good. Playing music was actually pretty straightforward with it. Uh, I actually used a little USB drive, and that worked well. Um, I did connect my phone to it. And the way you do that is you actually turn your phone on. You turn it to uh, the Bluetooth mode. It'll actually say Bluetooth mode. You go to your phone, and you pick it out of the Bluetooth uh, uh, devices in there. This was like SK something. I clicked it and then that was kind of my speaker. You do the same thing when you hook up uh, wireless headphones to a phone. Same idea. You just connect it and you play. Uh, and then the volume can be done either with the remote or with the actual phone. Uh, and that was fine too. We actually did that. We had like a little speaker system. So this is actually a wireless speaker system as well as a light. Uh, so if you're looking at getting someone, getting a, a, a teenager or getting a little party system for your house, uh, this is a wireless speaker built in. It works fine. It's not super duper. You know, it's not going to blow the windows out or anything, but it's a nice little entertainment. And it's got loud enough for, for a couple people. For a full-blown party, probably not. But for a couple people hanging out in the room, it was fine. It was absolutely fine. Overall, I want to thank Tan Baby for sending this to me. Uh, it's actually been a lot of fun. Uh, the kids like it. I like it. Uh, we can go ahead and play with it, you know, kind of set it up. Uh, and it'll definitely be something we pull out and we set up uh, for parties and for sleepovers and maybe even for the holidays going forward. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely a win. It is definitely affordable as well. It's not a it's not a real stretch for most budgets, uh, but it's something that it does definitely add to the ambiance of any kind of a gathering you might have at night. Ooh, look at all the pretty lights. If you like this sort of view, let me know. If you have questions or comments below, leave them below. Uh, if you want notifications of what new videos come out, hit the little bell button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you like it. I try to turn out a lot of these things. It's kind of a part-time thing for me. It's not a, not a full-time thing, obviously. Uh, but I do enjoy playing with gadgets. I enjoy playing with tools and home stuff. Anything for the home, I get a kick out of. So uh, yeah, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Thanks.